Hi guys, it's Baldrick here, and in today's episode, I'd like to talk about the new sort of standard in these console PCs that are coming out. So basically what a console PC is, it is a PC designed to sit at your TV and use a controller with it, or if you want you can also use it as a desktop PC. But it's mainly designed to be used exactly like a console, but obviously since it's a PC, it gives you better graphics on the current consoles, and uh, some of them, not all of them, give you some upgradability options. So, uh, the one that's really making headlines at the moment is the Alienware Alpha. It looks pretty sleek. It's very little. It comes with a custom GPU by NVIDIA. It's about, I'm pretty sure it's 2 gigs of DDR5 RAM, equivalent to about an 8, 860, something like that. So, that's going to give you better performance than the consoles. But, they are sort of... Uh, a bit expensive, like the cheapest one with the i3 in Australia is $700 and that, you can build yourself a much uh, beastly PC for $700 than that. If you buy a desktop, you can probably stick a low-end i5 in it, which will still perform a lot better. But for what it is, it's going to definitely... I guess the 4 gigs of memory might make it a bit slow, but it in games, it should be outperforming some of the consoles. I wouldn't recommend buying the lowest model anyway, though. If you're going to buy it, you may as well spend a bit more. So, th here comes a question. Should you actually uh, buy a smaller PC and just use it as a console, or should you actually buy one designed to be used like a console? Because you can actually use the PC like a console even if it isn't designed to be like one because of Steam's big picture mode, which works great with a controller. And if you don't want to use that, you can just buy yourself a little keyboard and mouse, which is perfect. So, it's really whether you want to spend the money or not, to be honest. Uh, if you're a really good PC builder, you can obviously make yourself a pretty nice uh, mini ITX PC to put next to your TV, but if you're not really into that and you just want to get PC graphics with console usability, definitely check out these uh, mini PCs by like Gigabyte makes some, Zotac makes a mini PC as well, but they're definitely looking good, they're improving over time, and it's sort of this new craze that has come out with gaming PCs, they're getting all console like they're getting smaller than the PS4 and Xbox One. It's getting a bit crazy if you ask me. I don't know why people like them so much, but it, it's really what the consumer is going for right now. And I think the technology is great. They're cramming pretty decent hardware into some of them, which is good to see. But in my opinion, you should really wait till the 900 series sort of uh, mini PCs come out. I'm sure you can probably buy some, but most of them are using the 800 series and the 900 series mobile processors, which they basically use laptop processors because they're in such a little enclosure, so they have to be really, uh, I guess, cool processors. You don't want them making a lot of heat. So that's why they're using mobile processors in them. But they're still good processors. So you've got to really wait for the 900 series NVIDIA to really start kicking in for these PCs because they perform like desktop PCs. There's only, the Nvidia said there's about a 10% difference and that has been proven by many other testers as well. So it's a very good buy if you buy a 900 series a mobile processing graphics card because they're just beasts and they're using Maxwell's architecture. I know that 800 series might be, but they're just nowhere near as good as the 900 series and you should definitely wait till they come out because that is going to be the time when you really want to be buying these little PCs. So anyway, uh, I, I won't end it yet. Uh, try and get a quad core. It would be a bit better with a quad core processor. Dual core is really for low end PC gaming and if you want it to last you a while since it's going to be at your couch all the time and you're going to be using it a lot. Definitely try and get a quad core processor or higher. Anyway, that's my recommendations. Uh, anything more than 8 gigs of RAM as well is also great. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments. I'd really like to hear what you say. See you later. Have a nice day.